everyone. Um, I just wanted to <clears throat> get, just speak my mind a little bit. And um, so I, I was on my YouTube and I had posted a video um, and I had posted that, um, what did I post? Oh, I was posting all the things that come with being sick and never, um, you know, where the symptoms come on and you, you can ignore so long, but sometimes you just have to go to the doctor, pay that copay, pay for that scan, whatever it is, rule things out. Um, you know, because we live in a world that we are not going to have a perfect body. We are not going to be in perfection. This is not heaven. Um, we live on earth right now. And so, um, I share things that it might seem like I'm being super negative, but I'm being super real. Okay. So I will share something very positive. I'll give scripture. I will give, um, you know, like testimony and like, um, amazing things that God has done. And then I will also share, um, moments where I'm so sick that day that I can't do anything. And, um, it's not that I'm depressed or sad. It's that you get so physically weak that you just look, you don't look right. <laughs> you look like you're unhealthy. You don't look like you feel happy, even though you do like even today I'm happy, but I am aggravated because I had posted and I share my whole life and my whole journey because I was walking around my house one day and the Lord, you know, just pressed on my heart, sit down and share on a video, right? So I sit down in front of my camera, my phone or whatever, and I start talking and like, I don't like speeches. I don't like phones. I don't like talking. This is not my thing. I'm not like, I am not a public speaker, right? So this was a year ago and I get on there on my phone. I share this video and then little by little, he's given me all these ideas to share, you know, share the scripture. Here's a poem. Here's a song. Here's whatever. Um, share this today, you know, something that is encouraging to someone or whatever he says to do, I do it. Okay. So with my health, I, he told me to share, right? So I'm sharing everything. Um, being chronically sick, um, is not going to be a bunch of positive um videos right so you're gonna you're gonna do videos on um maybe like how i got a diagnosis how i healed from that or how i get through that or whatever it's going to be real and raw and um it's going to be informative it's going to be helpful it's going to be real um if you've ever watched anyone with a, a disease they're not sitting there telling you all the positive aspects of illness i mean so the only amazing thing that has come from my illness is that um, I've always been a Christian and I've, I was born again Christian. What that basically means is that you've accepted Jesus into your heart and you now live for Christ, right? So you die to your flesh and your purpose and your calling and your mission is whatever God has called you to do and pleasing to him, right? Turning from the sin, repentance and go in that direction. So I posted a video on YouTube and I was posting about all of the expense of illness, not just the finances, but like it's in anyone on here. Like I see people on here that deal with illness. I mean, it's hard on your family. Um, you lose friendships, um, you gain stuff, right? So you gain friendships too, but you lose friendships, you lose contact with people. Um, you lose credibility sometimes with what you can do. Um, you lose um, time and money. And I used to work 25 hours a week. I absolutely love my job. I'm down to 10 hours a week at something I am amazing at and I love it. And when I'm there, I give it my all. But I tell you what, like I am literally not the same person for four to five days. Um, I used to do worship. After I would sing worship, I it was like I did a, uh, I don't even know what you wanna call it, a Richard Simmons workout when all I did was run around singing praise music. And I go home and I'm in severe pain for four days. Um, I have a physical body, okay? So it hurts and I have problems and I pray every day and it's not my lack of faith. It is not my root of spiritual illness. It is not my lack of healthy diet or my faith that I'm gonna be healed. It is the fact that my body is not perfect um, and I deal with things and 
I'm going to share that. I'm going to share the good parts, the bad parts. I'm going to share all of it because I do believe that if um, I stay on here and you see my, my journey and I have healed in a lot of ways. Oh, trust me. My spirit is like so happy and um, like I know that I know that I know when I hear from God, like I'm really close to the Lord. I, I read my Bible every day and I um, really try to press in to hear what the Holy Spirit has to tell me. And um, I'm going to get, you know, lash back and kick back and push back and all of that stuff because I'm doing something that um, I know that the Lord has called me to do and I'm going to get stuff from people. So I had posted something and someone told me I was a very negative hypochondriac and anyone who really knows me, um, it doesn't matter what that person thinks. Um, but the reason I came on here is because if you deal with illness and you've been told that, um, don't let it eat you up. Okay. It really, it like, it makes you feel like, Oh, you know, why in the world would someone think I want to live like this? Like if, if it was all in my mind, like I made it all up, trust me. I, I honestly, in the beginning, I thought it was, and I was trying to do anything. I'm like, just fix my brain because my brain thinks I'm broken. Right. So I literally have, you know, issues. I have invisible illnesses that, you know, basically they're not visible, but, um, they can't be viewed on a scan or whatever. And I have other things. I've had many things since I was a child. I've always had this, um, battle with, um, just a, a health journey and it has not shaken my faith. It's made it stronger. Um, like I'm so grateful to God that, um, he did not do this to me. He does not make people sick, but allowing me to go through this, um, man, like my eyes are so open, um, to what he has and like what he can do through such a cruddy situation. And like, I've met so many awesome people on here and, um, I've made connections and friendships and support that I never thought I would, um, with people who are sick or people who are whatever they are. Um, you know, your sickness is not who you are, right? So the reason I, I do all that I do is, um, to bring support because when I first got sick, you know, I go to the doctor and this doctor tells me to do physical therapy and, um, basically like go on stimulants to not be tired. And I had to have my mother-in-law drive me around because um, I was so sick and so weak and I thought I was gonna die. And before that, I was doing beach body workouts and I've got kids and anyone who knows me, I'm like stinking uh, Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. I am not uh, Eeyore. I am not uh, little piglet. I am busy, busy, go, 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 planner, ambitions, and all of that. And my life came to a screeching, stinking halt. And um, I get you if you're dealing with that. And I'm really sorry. And the reason I'm on here is to bring support to you because um, there's a girl, her name is Amy Esther. And there's another girl, Madison uh, Strong. And I Googled, you know, because I'm like, what the heck? Nobody has answers for this other, you know, all these things. I'm not going to say what I have because everyone has an answer for me. And the only one who really knows is God. And he's really guiding me what to do. So I'm going to continue on what I know is right for me. But I went on their pages and they were like living life, um, very sick, dealing with stuff up and down and all around, but um, they were happy and they had um, a life to live and things to do because when I was really sick, I could not, I had to crawl from my bed to the shower to wash my hair um, when it was really bad. And I really, really thought, because no one knew, I thought I was dying, right? So I'm still here and that's good. <laughs> and life is great and God is amazing. And um, if you're dealing with sickness um, and you are on my channel, or you are just here to um, get encouragement or whatever, I don't know what you like about me, but whatever you're on here for, um, just know that um, my goal is to bring joy and hope and like peace and um, just support to, you know, if I'm on your channel or whatever and I, and I follow you, um, I'm not here to like bring you down, I'm here to like pick you up and support you and bring encouragement and, um, also track this journey because I just feel like, like without any doubt and I, and I am getting healed, but like, I'm going to be fully healed. And this is going to document and show people the amazing, um, 
like what God can do in miracles, right? So I'm a slow miracle. He's doing like these miracles in my life, little by little, creating something really awesome um, through all of the junk. That's how God works. It's not like I'm healed. Like if I got instantly healed, I wanted it so bad. Trust me, it's been years. If I got instantly healed um, right away, and I go to someone, I'm like, oh, hey, I had nine illnesses and God touched me and healed me. And then they go and they don't get theirs. And they're like, what the heck? You know, and then you have people that um, they, you got to stop doing this. If you're a Christian, stop. All right. You need to pray and really know what the heck is coming out of your mouth towards someone. Because um, I have been told about, you know, the spiritual root. Uh, that I've got a spiritual root um, in like the most amazing thing is when I first got sick, the Lord literally like purged my heart and my spirit of like things I didn't even know I held on to. And like, I never felt so light and free in my life. And my body is busted. Um, but my spirit is like, man, it's, it's amazing. If you don't know Jesus, man, just do it. Stop believing whatever the world is telling you. And like, you know, everybody's like, Jesus is love. God is love. God is love. And if you give them correction or something biblical, they, they turn and they think, oh, God loves me. You know, um, go to, go to the Lord and you'll know what is right and what is wrong. He will, he will give you that conviction. Okay. Um, I'll just listen to people who are going to validate your sin or people who are going to bash the crap out of you, um, for doing something wrong when they got tons of sins of their own. Okay. Um, so basically, I'm just going to tell you that um, I'm going to continue no matter what someone thinks about me. I'm going to bring hope and faith and joy and all that stuff to this thing on Instagram. And I also have, um, if anybody wants to go there, it's, it's called Hope, Faith, the little and symbol and thriving, Hope, Faith and Thriving. And it's my YouTube channel. And that thing started out with me just sharing some stuff so people wouldn't feel alone with illness. Then it turned into like scriptures and um, all kinds of medical information because I've been dealing with illness for so long. I have a lot to give um, information wise to really help people who they maybe they're ill and they're not getting better and they don't know what to do. The medical system is very difficult to navigate. It is not easy. Um, just making an appointment and like, oh, my appointment's in you know nine years. Um, <laughs> Just knowing how to like get that appointment within two weeks or whatever, right? So um, if you need help or you know anyone's sick or dealing with whatever, um, send them to my channel because um, I have so much support on there. I have a hundred, I think, a hundred and forty something videos. I'm starting to do interviews with people, people who are um, young and sick and like really thriving in life, and people who are. Um, I have a girl coming up. She um, is amazing. She's a wife and and. Um, um, a mom and a Christian, all this, and she dealt with uh, domestic violence and all these like missions she has, and she's just amazing. Her channel is super awesome. Um, so I'm going to interview her. I have other people lined up, and the Lord has turned this into a ministry, not a hypochondriac griping session uh, for someone with a spiritual root of illness. It is just ain't that. So um, who I am is a child of God. I'm a wife and a mom. Um, I'm a friend to someone who needs it. I'm loyal and kind and honest, and I'm also full of flaws, and um, I'm not perfect, but I love God, and Jesus is my Savior, and I'll never stop sharing that. So that was my rant. God bless you all. Bye.